Do you want to know the secret to an effective and efficient media management in Final Cut Pro 10? Congratulations, because you just start watching the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial that will improve your media workflow forever. So, how to manage your media into the libraries, the projects and events in Final Cut Pro 10? And well, yeah, there are actually even more ways to organize your media, but that's for a later video. For anyone that is new and maybe not not that new to Final Cut Pro 10, the media organization part can be very confusing and cause a lot of frustration. So after this video, my goal is that everything will be crystal clear. Let's start off slowly by clarifying the fundamentals in Final Cut Pro 10 so we all talk the same language. So what is actually the media, libraries, projects and events in Final Cut Pro 10 and how to use them so they work for you instead of against you. So, libraries. A Final Cut Pro 10 library is the place, the container, where everything you're working with for this very video is stored. Inside your library, there is where your event or events live. The library is the actual thing that you will store somewhere on your hard drive and it's easy to recognize in Finder also because it looks like this. Events. Events in Final Cut Pro 10 are kind of similar to a folder in Finder. In every library that we create first, there must be at least one event. That is why when you create a new library in Final Cut Pro automatically creates one event that you will find up here. This event is automatically named today's date, so you have probably seen that many times in Final Cut Pro 10. Projects. A Final Cut Pro 10 project is the actual thing that you're working with in Final Cut Pro. That is the thing where you're dropping your content into and where you build your video, and that is the thing that is living down here. The project is stored in an event. You can have one or multiple projects in an event. Media. Media is anything imported into Final Cut Pro 10 that may or may not be used in the video project that you're creating. This can be, for example, video clips, pictures, sound, sound effects, music, and yeah, if there is anything else you would like to import. Now it's finally time to head into Final Cut Pro 10 so I can show you my typical workflow and how I work with the media libraries, products, and events. So the first thing we have to do is to create exactly a library. So let's do that first. Here I already have two libraries up to the left here. The first thing we're going to do is to go to File, New, Library. Or well, now we're going to call this library Final Cut Pro 10 Demo. And then we're going to decide where I'm going to store this library. Usually this is a MacBook Pro M1 and I have one terabyte hard drive on this one. So usually for videos that are maybe 20 minutes or shorter, I store them on my actual internal hard drive. When I have longer projects or more projects that I'm working with, then I'm using an external hard drive. Let me find that one. I found it. As I said, if there are longer products or if I'm working with more products, then I usually work out of my external hard drive. This is a Samsung X5 SSD drive with a Thunderbolt connection and this one is just insane fast. So you don't notice any lags at all. And if you would like to pick this one up or anything else that I'm talking about, I'm gonna drop all the links in the comment box below for your convenience. But in this case, I'm gonna store this library on my internal hard drive and I usually store it in the movies folder that I have here on my left side. So I call this the Final Cut Pro 10 demo and I call it all because I already have one. So I call it Final Cut Pro 10 demo one. I click save and now we have our new library up here to the left. Let me close these two so they don't disturb us. Close, close. So when I created the first library, we have the name up here and that is the name that I selected. If we go into Finder and then we go to the movies folder, here we can find that I have this Final Cut Pro 10 Demo 1 library and you can see that it's easy to recognize due to these characters, character, Characteris characteristic, characteristic, sorry, to this characteristic icon. What we're gonna do now, just to have something to work with, is to import the media into the computer, into this library. And as we can see, Final Cut Pro 10 has already created the first, exactly, event. And that is why we got today's date up here. To rename that one, I just click it, and then I'm gonna call that my 
A roll because the A roll is all the cameras that are pointing towards the main subject that is me in this case. So let's see if I can find a SD card where we have some media. I think we're gonna have something on this one. And to get this one into the computer, I usually use this Apple branded SD card reader, or I use this one that is from Stat Static that Statich. It's really good, by the way. You have the SD card, the micro SD card, USB C, and here you have an HDMI port as well. For this case, I'm gonna just plug this one in here, and as soon as I plug this SD card reader and SD card into my computer, we will get this import window. Here I just select what media I would like to import. This is from some videos that I recorded last week. Now I would like to import that one, or you can command click to select multiple, or you can click the first one, shift click to select all of them. So I'm gonna have that one, and I can take that one, and then we're gonna decide where we're gonna store this media. First, up to the right here, I can take to an existing event, and here we can see that it's in the Final Cut Pro Demo 1 library, and the event A role that we also have up here. If I would like to have that one, I can select that one. If I would like to create a new event, I can do that down here. For this one, I'm gonna select the current A roll event. Then I have it copied to library because I don't wanna have, I can't work out of the SD card, of course. Of course, the media has to be copied into the hard drive. Import selected. And here you can also check this one if you want to. That is close window after importing. Then when it's done, this one is closed automatically. And then after we have imported, we just need to wait a little while until the import is done, that it is now. And now if we click, for example, this one, and then we go to the inspector, we're gonna be able to see where it's stored. And here in the location, we can see that it's stored into the Final Cut Pro 10 demo-1 library. And if you would like to see the actual file, you can click Reveal in Finder. And here are the files. We can see down here, it's in the Final Cut Pro 10 Demo 1 library in the folder that is called A Roll, that is equivalent to our event in Final Cut Pro 10. And then we have the original media and then the file itself. Very easily organized. So after we have imported this, what we need now to start work with it down here is, it says new product. So we need to create a product. So we can either click down here, new product, or we can go to file new project. For this demonstration, we're gonna click down here, and then we're gonna call this for Final Cut Pro 10 demo. And the next thing to decide is where we would like to store this product. In this case, we only have one event, so that's why we can see only this one. So for this demonstration, let's go up here, click File, New, Event. Say that we're working with more cameras, we're gonna have more events for A roll, B roll. That's why I usually create one event that is called Project. And here I can select to create a new project directly or do it later. For this one, it's perfect. I can create a new project. And here I can have the automatic settings. That means that the settings of this project is going to be based on the first media that I drop into the timeline into a project. If you would like to have manual settings, you can click, you click use custom settings. And here I can see I would like to have it in 4K. The resolution is automatic. I have 25p and ProRes, Apple ProRes. 422, okay. What happens now is that we're getting this black bar down here and that is our actual product where we drop our media. So to drop the media, just pull it down, drop it, and now it's here. And the next thing I would like to do is to make sure that everything is stored where I would like to have it. Because as default, I think it's default, Final Cut Pro 10 is not storing everything, all the medias and everything, in the actual library. It's stored in the original media folder that is created outside the library. And I hate that because then I don't have control over my media. So what I recommend you to do is to click on the actual library on the top left, go to the right side. Here you have the properties for the library itself. For example, you can have the storage location. If you click modify settings, you can see that the media is stored in the library. And this is where you maybe have something else that is causing the media to be spread out on your hard drive. So I highly recommend to store the media inside the library. If all the media has been spread out somewhere else, how you can fix that is to click on Consolidate Media. If you click that one, you're gonna make sure that everything is 
gathered, collected and stored where you would like to have it. So in this case, if I would like to store everything inside this library, I just leave everything checked and click OK. I just click continue. There are no files to consolidate because I already have everything inside my library. But if you didn't, that is how you fix that. Well, this is the basics of how I use my projects, libraries and events in Final Cut Pro 10. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.